Oh wow, I found the record button. Hey guys, <laughs> it's been a while. And uh, for any of you people who are new here and seeing this my channel for the first time, um, you can just skip ahead um, to this time. I'm just gonna be talking to the people who I've kind of abandoned for the <laughs> past couple months or a year. So yeah, hi. <laughs> I'm back. I'm gonna don't worry, I'm gonna make a whole another update video probably because a lot of good things have happened to me recently uh, to make me step want to step away from YouTube. Uh, long story short, again, it's a uh, university, but this time I'm having I'm doing well in university, <laughs> so that's why I stopped. I'm just gonna be um, taking this YouTube thing sort of like um, just whenever I want to, whenever I feel like I have a cool idea I want to share with you guys, I'll make a video like this one right now, which. Uh, it's uh hopefully um you guys will like so i'll make another uh, update video soon but for now i am sort of back and thank you guys for still sticking with me if you're still here <laughs> anyways hello today i'm going to be sort of starting this baseline series um trying to show you guys how you can start making youtube videos start creating content any kind of content uh for pretty much no money to completely free. I wanna show you guys that you can make pretty high quality videos uh, with a lot of amazing free to use tools or stuff that you pretty probably already have. A sort of disclaimer, a lot of these is probably like common knowledge to a lot of you guys watching. This is just a sort of a blanket video for, every, for anyone who might be watching if you're a complete beginner. So before we get into the actual things I recommend, there are a few things that are kind of like pretty, pretty much bare minimum essentials what you need and they obviously do cost money um one essential a computer like so it can even be like your mom or dad's like 10 year old laptop that can work second thing is a phone and this one i'm, I'm pretty sure i don't want to assume anything but i'm pretty sure most of you have and third sort of bare minimum thing is some sort of microphone this one can cost a little more but it can range right like i think the audio experience is kind of more important sometimes uh, than the video experience when it comes to a YouTube video. Obviously, they're both important. I'm gonna be talking about both today, but computer, phone, and at some sort of microphone. And guys, these Apple earpods with a mic on them, they are great. Like, that counts. Like, if you need a mic, you can use these. So, computer, phone, mic, if you have those things, you're pretty much set. You don't need to spend another dime. Step one, recording your video. A phone. So, if you're gonna be making IRL content, all you need is your your phone. You don't even need to buy a tripod if you, like a phone tripod if you don't want to. But it, it it will be nice. It would be nice to have. So if you want to spend some money, go on Amazon, buy like a fifteen dollar phone tripod in your set. Maybe even a you don't need a ring light. Just again, prop it up on a windowsill, record in the daytime, uh, use the sun, and you have an amazing quality video. Guys, smartphones. Any modern smartphone will have one of the better video recording suites that any 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 video anyone will know because they've gotten so good and they have everything you need. They have a good they have a good microphone. The camera is really really good. So what if you want to record your computer screen? Which honestly I think that covers about ninety percent of YouTube videos nowadays. You're either recording yourself like the like the real world or you're recording your computer or, or like some sort of like you need a software recorder. And that is where this amazing app that I'm using right now comes in. OBS! In my mind, everyone and their mother knows about OBS, but again, I'm making this video for like everyone out there. If you don't know what OBS is, it's it's honestly not a beginner software. Like it, it can look pretty intimidating to start if you're not, you know, experienced with like recording software. But yeah, I, re I probably recommend this to like everyone because it can do everything it can record games and desktop i'm doing it right now and, and we're gonna record uh webcams so the whole start of the video i was using this face only scene and if you don't know what a scene is you don't like I'm, I'm gonna make i might make a whole separate video on how to use obs but for now just know that this is what you want to use so all you have to do is add a new scene i won't do it because i'm using it to record right now so and if i switch scenes you guys will just see a black screen but you can make a new scene and uh, it can record you, any game you have it running uh it can be windowed full screen whatever you want you just add a source and click game capture uh add new and then you can choose it to do any full screen application any specific window and you don't you probably don't want to change any of these you probably just want to leave it at um, default but yeah so if, you, if i had a game open it has to detect the game so if i had like minecraft open or something it would show up here you would just click ok and then Boom, the game would show up like my desktop is showing up right now. So yeah, using OBS for recording with the computer and uh, using your phone recording anything like 
real life stuff are my two main and they're kind of obvious recommendations but again I'm making this video for everybody and for even the complete beginner and there are also a lot of other like ways to record footage and record a computer or record your you know yourself like cameras and like other software but again the, I think in my opinion these are the two best easiest free and like they can apply to any kind of video like you can oh you can use OBS for as I said literally anything on your computer and your phone pretty much everyone has a phone so that's why I, I rec I'm recommending them as the easiest form to just like get started and get your um, footage and YouTube and content out there okay step two video editing my main recommendation for the best free yes completely free video editing software no watermarks no really real disadvantage that I can think of DaVinci Resolve guys DaVinci Resolve was actually a surprisingly powerful video editing software for how it's completely free it is a Again, a little bit of a learning curve. It's not as hard as like Premiere Pro or... So yeah, it kind of mimics Premiere Pro and like the different steps it has and the different kinds of uh, workflows that it has. Uh, you can click media, edit, like all, all these. Oh, I have this. I'll skip this for now. Um, edit. This is the main one I think I use or is it cut? I'm not sure. Uh, fuse. This is for like effects. Color is for color correcting. This is for audio, and then when you're done everything, you can go to the deliver step, which is your like rendering the video. Obviously, this is not gonna replace Premiere or Sony Vegas. Like those are paid and hundreds of dollars for a reason, right? This is completely free. But in my like pea brain basic YouTuber eyes, it is like it does everything I need to do and more. So um, the past like like all my videos for the past like maybe year or a couple of years, uh, which is not that not that many videos, were edited with DaVinci Resolve. So. Um, not my Minecraft Funny Moments videos that I uploaded in like 2020, those were on 20 Vegas because again, I was, I got pretty good using 20 Vegas, so. I think this is like the cream of the crop when it comes to free editing softwares, and it, again, it punches blows, it punches blows? <laughs> it can trade blows with like middle to high end paid editors, in my opinion. I'm editing this video right now actually with DaVinci Resolve, so like there you go. Another like half step is Editing audio. Audacity is a, this is a tried and true free like audio recording like um, sound <laughs> anything to do with audio on a, on a computer. Audacity has been like the king of the hill for free software. Everyone for, again, I think pretty much everyone knows about it. It can record your microphone. You can add a bunch of effects to it. Um, you can split. It just like a, a really really surprise again surprisingly powerful but this is like a classic I, I think pretty much everyone knows about audacity so if you're gonna be um the kind of person to record your voiceovers for stuff like maybe that's your kind of content you're making like you're only recording your voice and you're not doing anything video related get audacity it's free it's super lightweight super easy to use i can show you right now hello i'm talking i'm talking and then it would play back but my speakers aren't set up anyways yeah audacity get it i think everyone knows about it it's free it, even if you don't think you need it just get it just in case and after you've recorded your video you edited your video maybe edited your audio and your project is all done and you're like oh i love it it's amazing first youtube video i want to upload it oh wait i need a thumbnail crap guys when i tell you this is great just trust me go to photo p Right? Let's go photop.com, online photo editor, new project. Go to YouTube thumbnail. There you go. There's even a setting for it. Create. If you can see, it is eerily similar to Photoshop. So essentially what this company did is sort of like try to, you know, make a basic free online Photoshop that anyone can use. If you just go to photop.com, again, I'll link it all in, I'll link everything in the description. And look, the, the tools, like they're so similar, the, the tool icons, like the, the, the workflow, again, super similar to Photoshop. And it's also really bare bones. Obviously it's like maybe a fraction of what Photoshop can actually do. But for YouTube thumbnail making purposes, it's pretty much all you need. Uh, and I'm, this is not a video on how to make thumbnails. I actually have a lot of videos about that. That's what is what got, gained my channel a lot of popularity in the past. So if you do wanna watch that, you know, look up, you look on my channel, look up Justin the Oreo YouTube thumbnail. Uh, they, they're really old, so they might be outdated for what YouTube and people like on thumbnails nowadays. This is one of the most, again, most powerful. It can do the most. Uh, so yeah, photop.com. If you want, when you want to make your thumbnails, which is probably your last step in making your YouTube video. Again, it's amazing. I found this only kind of recently too, maybe like in the last couple of years. 
or maybe in last year. It's so cool. Like I again, I used to have Photoshop with in for school, and it's really eerie how similar like a lot of these tools are and how they work. So, but I have another recommendation, and this is one that um, is near and dear to my heart because when I first started YouTube, ma making YouTube videos. I used this to make thumbnails and a lot of my videos were actually about this software and you might know it, it's paint.net. So if you go to getpaint.net, oh this is taking me back man. If you guys were watching me in like, I don't know, 2012, from 2013 to 2016, a lot of my most popular videos were about this software. That icon is just iconic to me. I even have a whole series called paint.net basics on my channel, so if you guys want to use paint.net and you think you'll like it after like looking it up a bit uh, you can just maybe watch that yeah so oh my god here i am <laughs> six years ago beginner guide to paint.net i have uh yeah this is a series i started i don't know how good this video is it got a lot of views like that's really surprising how many views it got but yeah you can watch this if you want to i'm not gonna force you to watch it but yeah i loved using this i use the software for all uh, my thumbnails and again this thumbnail you're seeing was made in paint.net so if you like it you know give it a try but i personally use photo p right now because i'm a bit more used to the photoshop workflow as of this moment and guys you have made it after you recorded your video using your phone or obs edited it using davinci edited your audio in audacity and then finally made your amazing looking thumbnail in photo p or paint.net i can safely say you've probably finished your first youtube video Woo! I'm really sorry for the long video, I'm trying to make it as short as possible, but these are the tools that I use, I have used, or I still use to make all my YouTube videos nowadays, and um, I think they're just like really, really good for being completely free, and uh, I just love how there's so many f amazing free software that exists now that are so powerful and that they can do uh, so much, and they're so versatile too. But if you're a beginner and you're confused about anything, leave in the comments, I will definitely respond to all of them. Yeah, thanks again so much guys. I probably want to continue series like this, and maybe I'll go more into depth of everything that I've talked about in this video, specifically OBS, because I think OBS is really, really cool. It's my favorite software that I talked about in this video, and I think uh, it would help to get more people to use it and to learn, uh, to try to teach people how to use it better. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.